Hello, I'm Justin Ross with Fluke Biomedical and Race Safe. You might recognize me from some of our demo videos and how-to videos. What you might not know is I'm also a volunteer firefighter and emergency first responder. Today I'm holding one of our older devices, the Fluke Biomedical or Victorine 451P survey meter. You might recognize this from the emergency management systems as we utilize this device to detect for radiation leaks or contaminated areas. The 451P measures in both dose and dose rate. And there's some things about the 451P that aren't so conducive to us. For instance, when we power on the 451P, we know that we have to turn it on and wait for the device to stabilize. Also, that we can't save the data onto the 451P. So let me show you a new device by Fluke Biomedical and our Ray Safe team. This is the Fluke Biomedical 452 survey meter, a brand new device from our teams. The 452 powers on simply by pushing the center button, and as soon as it powers on, it's ready to start taking readings, as you can hear it by clicking. The 452 not only measures dose and dose rate, but also energy and KEV levels, as well as counts, simply by taking off the cap. The 452 utilizes a Geiger Mueller tube surrounded by a diode array. This means that the 452 is a directional device, meaning we're going to have to point it towards the source. This is great for the emergency services because we can help isolate where that source is coming from. Let's take my jacket, for instance, that we exposed to a radiation source earlier today. Without that cap on, I'm going to get my counts and energy levels, and I can simply go around my jacket. Did I mention we can also set alarm rates so that we know if we're in a high level area where we need to immediately evacuate ourselves? Another nice feature about the 452 is after I've taken that energy readings, I can simply push the center button and zero out the accumulated dose. That's going to also save everything that's happened in this device. So I can either use the menu now to go back and retrieve those settings and the information, or I can plug in using the RaySafe View software and a standard USB to micro USB cable and retrieve the data off of this device at a later time. The 452 also carries an IP64 rating, meaning it's able to be used in a dusty as well as wet environment. I'm not saying you should go throw it in a puddle, but it's going to survive as we walk through the rainstorm that's about to happen. The 452 comes with two different filter caps, both an ambient as well as an air camera, meaning that we can read in Rankins, Sieverts, Grays, or whatever designation you might need to do in your, in your application. Another great feature about the 452 over the 451P is that the, in order to ship the 451P back for service, you either had to take it to a special shipping service or open up the 451 and drain out the inert gas out of the pressurized chamber. The 452, not the case. I can simply put the cap back onto it to protect the tube. Here we go. Power the device off. Simply place it back in the case. put two wire ties through it, fix the label, and ship it back in for service. I should mention that the case is an accessory, but for those of us in the fire service, it's something you might really want to consider. Hey, for more information on the Fluke Biomedical and Race Safe 452, check us out at flukebiomedical.com under the Products tab and look for radiation safety. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in our next video.